Peace and love, everybody. This is the girl, Tiny Sandra Barnes. And um, I'm coming back at you all once again to draw some more truth, to draw some more knowledge. Um, I just wanted to say condolences to the young lady who was shot and killed in the Chapman neighborhood on the south side of Chicago um, this past week. And also the young man that was shot at Hat Park. You know, these senseless killings and yet murders is absolutely ridiculous. You know, the city of Chicago is nothing but demons and devils is running loose with guns. Innocent young people is getting shot and killed. Mothers and fathers steady burying their families and loved ones. You know, these women getting raped and all this stuff that's going on in Chicago and across the country is absolutely ridiculous. No one is doing anything to address the problem. You know, no no one's doing anything to address the concerns and the issues that this country is facing. The president don't give a damn. You know, he's too busy. Got his nose in the air. You know, starting war with different countries and, you know, different uh, representatives in office. And everybody around him seemed to drop. But what I'm going to be discussing with you all today is called Black Souls. You know, it just don't make no sense that black on blacks is killing one another like, uh, like they doing today. And they always want to blame the white man but the white man is doing nothing to us we are now the black kkk we are killing each other with the guns the drugs and the negativity and the violence throughout all the countries and throughout the world and no one seems to care you know there's no more self-love there's no more self-respect there's no more self-guidance there's no leaders there's no morals anymore you know black folks are just killing one another and when you look at that role word, word, uh, when you look at that word soul that word mean a spirit that's your inside of your body you know that soul is just uh is your eternity upon this world uh, upon this world and upon this earth you know once you uh once you leave here your soul either is going to go to heaven or hell and that's the spirit within you but do you know when i look at the word black you know, that means people of, uh, that means an ordinary color. I mean, that represents power. That represents, uh, strength, you know. But as I put it together, black souls, you know, there's a lot of people out here with no soul. And it's, uh, basically our own people. You know, no disrespect to other whites and other races, but I'm talking about the black people. That's out here acting like fools. And they wonder why they call us animals. You know, you're killing one another. You're poisoning one another with negativity. You get jealous of one another. You know, there's no structure. There's no businesses within the black community. There's really no hospitals in the black community. There's no um, schools hardly being and built up in a black community. Everything is run by whites and other races. Because we too busy as a black people people out here with this nonsense, you know, killing one another for no reason. You know, this is just don't really make any sense. And even within the church, you don't hardly see any leaders in the church anymore. You know, the church came from black leaders and teachers and preachers, but they too busy selling their souls out to the devil and they too busy collecting money within the church instead of rebuilding the church. You know, they taking the word of God and using it for their selfish purposes to be rich and prosperous. Yes, it's okay to be rich and prosperous, but at the end of the day, don't forget about your people. Don't forget about where you came from. And a lot of these pastors and leaders within the uh, black churches worldwide have forgotten that. But it doesn't make any sense all these murders and killings that's been going on in the city of Chicago for years. And also across the world, you know how young people just being murdered and women being mutilated and raped. You know, kids being murdered and raped. You know, you have pedophiles out here now that's raping and molesting these young boys and girls. Now you have uh, black pedophiles. It used to be uh, white men and women used to be ped pedophile and rapists. But now it's black uh, people doing it now that's uh, committing incest, raping the, uh, their babies and kids and to that nature. You know, women being murdered and going through domestic violence and other things. And this is absolutely ridiculous. You know how black people have become. But they brought that attitude and their uh, uh, in their ways in that negative environment with upon themselves just because you from the hood and just because you came from a broken family or the ghetto or wherever you came from don't mean you have to act like it you can act like you got some sense but um, it's just really sad, you know, black people just have become just the way they are now. I'm not saying all, but some. But the majority of these young people and these black men and women act like they don't have any sense. 
because of the things they doing, selling out and acting fools and don't uh, and don't understand uh, their knowledge and their history anymore. Pretty much to act like they forgot where they came from, thinking they better than somebody. You know, just because you ain't got money like them and doing, you know, and making it to the top and being successful as them, they look at you like you're not nothing. But success is not upon money. Success is just about reaching goals and, you know, helping one another. You know, people got that word success all mixed up. You know, these black folks nowadays, some of them just act like they just didn't got, uh, they just didn't got Hollywood and act like they forgot where they came from. Don't come to the community. No community leaders. No one is dressing anything anymore. And it's just really sad. You know, people selling their uh, own people out for what? And they wonder why people don't want to be around us. But we as a people, we need to start loving and caring about one another because they trying to take us out. You know, the black people is, um, they, they trying to wipe us out this earth. And people is not paying attention to what's going on. You see more murders among the black community than anything else. Organs being sold, organs being stolen. And no one seems to be paying attention because everybody is too busy, got their nose, you know, trying to be in another cookie pot. And it's all about money, money, you know, and forget everybody else. It's all about, oh, I'll get you before you get me. And it's just really sad. You know, people need to wake up and start reading books and know their history. Because everybody that's teaching you knowledge and uh, information don't mean no good. You need to track your facts and know who talking real and who ain't talking uh, and, who, and who talking fake. Wake up, black people. Act like you all got some sense. Women, start acting like you got some respect for yourselves and quit being thirsty for these men because you all are coming up dead. You all are meeting these men online, following these men, and you coming up kidnapped. A lot of these men out here is murdering these women. You know, a lot of these uh, women setting up these men to get murdered, and it's just absolutely ridiculous. And all this crime you basically seeing now on social media is young black men and women. And babies being murdered and raped and slaughtered. Wake up, black people, and know your truth.